welcome to another exciting episode of Prestigious Talk Show. My name is Faith Dodo. I'm your regular host. Today, I have two special guests with me. Uh, they are joining me, and uh, I would like them to introduce themselves. So, uh, tell my audience your name. Uh, my name is Shelley Jarrett, and thank you for inviting me today. You're welcome. And, and I'm Andrew Terry Pasika. Thank you very much for having us. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, today, we have an exclusive interview with... Uh, Shelly Jarrett and Andrew Pasika. I will first of all like to start with uh, Shelly Jarrett. Shelly Jarrett is an emerging uh, screenwriter, creator and a producer. She's also an award-winning uh, entrepreneur and magazine publisher and media personality. She is currently developing her debut featuring documentary What About Us? Women from diverse communities telling their uh, hashtag me to stories of abuse and sexual assault they have enjoyed. Mr. Pasika is the CEO of Seventh House Publishing Arts. It holds all the published work of SMJ Magazine, an image lifestyle business publication formed in the mid 2013, of which Mr. Pasika is the editor in chief. He has also edited several ma manuscripts by various authors under Seventh House. In 2018, the SMJ brand moved into the realm of multimedia. Uh, she, she Land. She Land House of Fame was created for projects coming out printed uh, articles, of which the first is What About Us? So today we are going to have exclusive interview with Shelly Jarrett and Mr. Andrew Pasika. Stay tuned as we continue with the interview. Thank you. Uh So, Shelly, can you tell our viewers what motivated you to start uh, SMJ Magazine? Okay. Thanks for asking me that question. Um, I, what started me, I was an image consultant. Okay. And I was uh, doing, um, teaching women how to dress for success in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And I quite enjoyed what I was doing. I found I got a lot of followers. Mm -hmm on social media and I just felt uh, after a year of doing that um, I felt I wanted to take this um, work that I'm doing to a wider platform okay. and the only way that I, that would allow me to do that is to you know expand to like a magazine mm -hmm. writing a magazine doing image um, mm -hmm. lifestyle mm -hmm. um, in, in regard to and business of course okay. and Lifestyle covers, you know, quite a, a wide variety, arts and entertainment, mm -hmm. beauty and fashion, faith and community, mm -hmm. and health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And on the business side, um, I wanted to expand of giving people a platform so that they can tell their story of their mm -hmm. small businesses. And um, yeah, so that's what pretty much uh, motivated me. Wow, that's, yes. that's really awesome. Yes. You know, you have... Um, you have the interest of women. In yes, always women because, you know, I've been working with women like way back 25 years ago mm -hmm. um, in the, um, you know, health and wellness area. So I wanted to always expand on that. We do ca um, carry some men features as well, but okay. primarily women's issue. Oh, those are the demographics yes. that you're focused on. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I realized that when I was reading your bio, Right. Uh, you moved to, you have, you said, uh, you talked about uh, the Sheeland House of Fame. Right. I want you to actually tell our audience about the Sheeland she House of Fame and when you kind of moved from SMJ or is it a multimedia, uh, is it kind of uh, under the umbrella of SMJ? Well, it is, but I'll turn to Andrew. Maybe okay, he'll explain yeah. a little okay, bit sure. more about how S Shell and House of Films came about and yeah. what our, in, and our rebranding mm -hmm. process. Rebranding yeah. process. Okay. Actually, it came from two directions. Uh, I always like saying SNJ Magazine is our little engine that could. Okay. Um, it uh, has um, become a very special um, tool for us because... Um, it gets us up into the public, mm -hmm. but it also gets us into markets we wouldn't normally get into because we have yes. a product to give. Mm -hmm. And um, we wanted to move into multimedia, but for some reason, our initial forays um, 
we backed off at the last oh. minute. Oh. We were thinking of digital radio, we were thinking of digital TV, mm-hmm. but something just wasn't right about but, the deal. Mm-hmm. And then we did a major rebranding of the magazine, I'd say about two years ago, two and a half years ago now. Okay. It's actually going to be three years pretty soon. Wow. Uh, nice. And at the time, one of the things we realized was the most important thing we were doing, it's all our stories right from issue one have been mm-hmm. original content. Mm-hmm. And we realized that is our diamond in the rough, yes. our content. So we start looking at our stories because we realized some of our stories didn't end mm-hmm. with the printed story that was in the magazine. Yeah. In fact, there was what investigative reporters call a story behind the story. Wow. And within two years, we identified six projects oh. that we could see come directly from stories, stories. in the publication mm-hmm. that can move into another realm. Mm-hmm. And we realized the reason why we didn't get those deals is it was never about to be radio. It never was supposed to be about TV. TV. It was supposed to be about film. Yeah. And because our partnership was so close with the magazine, mm-hmm. we wanted to brand our partnership and not call it SMJ Films, Yeah. but we wanted to give it another name. Yeah. So Sheila House of Films is the first few letters of our names. I can talk. Shelley and Andrew. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Shelly me first because because we let her be the extrovert, <laughs> and uh, I work for her in the magazine. I'm her editor in chief. She's my publisher, and um, um, I like we let, because of the fact that faith and community is an important mm-hmm. part of what we do in the magazine yes. and an important part of our lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, we let the Holy Spirit in us speak to our hearts about the project. That's good. And as it turns out, this project right here. What about, what about us? Mm-hmm. Is actually our fifth one. Wow. But it's the first one that got traction, the first one that got response, the first one that got funding. And I think it's because God orders steps, his steps are ordered rightly. Yeah, yes. He's on time, he, it's the it's, right thing. Exactly. And this was the right project to start with because it's viral. Mm-hmm. It is so much in the media hmm. and it is so strong and it is so vital. But at the same time, the view mm-hmm. is narrow. A lot of people are wondering, where do we go from here? What do we do from here? Yes. And we'll talk more about that okay, later on. Okay, that is, you've actually uh, really unpacked and tell us what Sheila is all about and the film, uh, your multimedia film. That is really uh, interesting and that is a brilliant idea. And as you've said, you've mentioned God. God's time is actually the best time because yeah. His ways is not our way. Yeah. And again, I I was touched when you, you, you said so much in terms of you, you guys have done uh, over... I thought this was just the first. I didn't know this is like the fifth uh, documentary yeah. or something. Well, this is our sixth project. Yeah. Sixth In fact, projects, we've, yeah. actually, we've actually started work on, on two already, wow. but we haven't got funding yet. This one came so to the forefront yeah. because of the Me Too yeah. movement Me Too. Yeah. and what's happening so we right just, now. So we just, we just went with what we were being fed into the spirit. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's beautiful. And sometimes it's good to to listen to God's uh, guidance. Yeah. God to lead you to whatever mm-hmm. you want to use it for. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Andrew, for helping us to uh, dismantle that question. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Shelley. How does it feel um, knowing you inspired many women globally as a woman too? Well, I think it's very, um, it's very motivating for mm-hmm. me. Um, I'm able to like get up every day and want to do this work. Like, um, like I said, I've always been in women's issues, and um, now that it's become the forefront of everything, you know. Like this year, they said last year was the year of the female, so mm-hmm. it's like everything come full force. Yes. So you know, and and to be honest, women there are women that do motivate me as well. Okay. So and I'm inspired by many women that are doing some fabulous work, mm-hmm. and so that's what gives me the energy that, you know, I, I have the tools, I have the platform. Mm-hmm. Why not? Reach out, to reach people. out to women. Yes. Um, help. I've always have this helping uh, characteristic, yes. and so I wanted. It was just the timing. You know, I studied. My background really is social work. Okay. I've always been in, in working with women. Mm-hmm. Always. Um, when I started in social work, it was women abuse and mm-hmm. sexual assault. The exact thing that is happening. I thought twenty five years later things would have changed, but yeah. nothing has really yeah. changed. 
And so, like I said, having the platform that I have now, I think it really makes me happy to be able to have that opportunity to help as many women and motivate as many women to, you know, that they don't have to stay in in any abusive situation yes. or or anything like that. There's so much help everywhere. They just have to reach, reach out, out yeah. and, you know, try to be around positive people that would encourage them to do better with their lives. And, yeah. you know, if God has chosen me and given me that platform, okay. I really need to be, you know, operating in my purpose. Oh, that's that's yeah. awesome. That's Thank really you. awesome. Trust me, if you're out there and you're going through any abusive situation, you don't know how to, you know, escape that or... You don't have to enjoy any abusive situation, especially those. None of I won't say any abuse is good, whether physical, emotional abuse. Most women try to endure because of their cultural background. Yeah, a lot of it is culture. So many things yeah. they endure those abuse, and yeah. at the end of the day, becomes detrimental. Yeah. So if you are passing through any uh, form of abuse, or you want to start a business, uh, you can reach out to uh, powerful women just like Shelly Jarrett. She is there to help you. She's there to also inspire you. Uh, you can right. contact her anytime. <laughs> so, um, so, Mr. Andrew, can you tell us when uh, you first discovered your passion for theater art? Well, I guess that's the background of where all this has come from. Mm-hmm. Um, I think um, there was pro- uh, really, there's nobody in my family who's got an interest in arts. So I don't know where this came from. Mm-hmm. Um, but I started as a teenager with a musical group mm-hmm. and a writer. Uh, and uh, from that, uh, it just seemed natural to perform. And I think the reason that probably gave me that impetus is I always enjoyed public speaking. I always liked having an opinion well, and stating my opinion. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was in pre-law when I was in, in university, but I dropped it in, mm-hmm. in favor of an, another program. Mm-hmm. And I think there was always the part of me that liked to talk, mm-hmm. liked to debate, liked to be out there. Mm-hmm. So even though in our company we let Shelley be the introvert, I'm a natural introvert. But mm-hmm. in the company, I'm sort of the one in the background. So I sort of know when to sort of move into the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think theater, for me, was an opportunity for me, not only as a confidence builder, mm-hmm. but it's, it's also a way to sort of state something about who you are. When you play different parts, mm-hmm. you learn about character, mm-hmm. and you learn about character development, and you learn about when your character is strong and when your character is weak, because in a theater production, you know the inside of the person because mm-hmm. you're looking at them from the outside. Yeah. So that's a way for you to study yourself too. Wow. When you look at a character and realize what their strengths and weaknesses are, mm-hmm. you should be able to learn from the part you just played and say, the part that I play every day mm-hmm. has got a mirror image of what's going on here. Wow. So sometimes it helps you in, in a way it's therapeutic. And at the same time, it gets things out. Mm-hmm. And I've always been big on communication. So I think theater arts... The fact that you're on stage performing, mm-hmm. talking, communicating, mm-hmm. that's a big, big thing for me. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a, big, a basically a deal breaker. If a person can't communicate with me, then we can't deal. That's powerful. That's awesome. You know, to see that you are somebody <laughs> that, you know, I won't, trust me, if, I, if you ask me, I was thinking you are the, you know, Somebody that is more introvert, you know, quiet. I can, I can, yeah, I can take that to my part, switch, but that's, yeah. that's because of my acting background. Yeah, I can yeah. play that part really well. Yeah, and I'm really impressed to hear, to hear you talk about theater and different characters, different performances, mm-hmm. and how that can actually help people develop and know about their, and know about themselves. That's very, very interesting. Yeah, a, a lot of actors sometimes just look at the superficial part of acting. Mm-hmm. They just learn the part and get what you say off book and learn, mm-hmm. learn the lines. Mm-hmm. But if you really study a character arc of a person and really get to know the character you're playing, mm-hmm. you might find out something about yourself playing that character. Yeah, that's true. So um, uh, can you tell our audience about your first company, Seventh House Publishing Art? Um, and do you have any other companies? Well, actually, that's that's an interesting thing. My first company was actually Seventh House Performing Arts Mm -hmm. Company. And it was a theater company I formed in Toronto when I moved into what I call equity theater. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's because, as a writer, 
you don't get sometimes to perform your work working for other companies. They may be very selective about what you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a musician uh, having to form their own record label in order to get their own music published. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the big companies don't want you to do your song. They want you to do all the songs that the, writers bring yes. you and all that kind of stuff. But if you want to do your own music, sometimes you have to publish yourself. The same thing with Seventh House Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. It got me a chance to spread my wings, find out sort of how good I was, how bad I was, mm -hmm. what were the limits of my creativity, where could I go, and what were, what were my uh, strengths. Mm -hmm. And then with when I disbanded Seventh House Performing Arts after I moved into Mississauga, that's how I created Eleventh House Oh wow! Seventh performing Seventh. performing arts, and that came out of Seventh House. Mm -hmm. I just rebranded it and made it a new company. Uh, in Mississauga, but I kept the name Seventh House. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't throw it away. I just closed the company, but I kept the name. Yeah. And then, so when I wanted to start the publishing house mm -hmm. to hold all the published work, the written work, like my original scripts, mm -hmm. like the written work of SMJ Magazine, all that is published under Seventh House Publishing Arts. Mm -hmm. And then it's also the the the, uh, the editing work I do for manuscripts for people who want to get their books edited. Oh, you do editing for Yeah, I, 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 I edit uh, manuscripts for people. Okay. And then, then they get their book published. I think we are going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I should talk to you after the whole interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds really interesting to me too. So I'm going to uh, move on to uh, Shelly. Yeah. We don't want to leave you out. So back to Shelly. I want you to tell us about the documentary, What About Us? What was it like uh, partaking in such a, a such an empowering uh, documentary? Can you tell our audience? My name is Shelley Jarrett. I am Guyanese. I am the creator of the project What About Us? These are the faces of us. My cultural background is indigenous of the Haudenosaunee. My experience was being sexually assaulted by a man I knew. My background is Jamaican, and my experience was abuse in the home by extended family members. I am Canadian born of East Indian background. I was emotionally, physically, and mentally abused by my ex-husband. I am Canadian born to parents who immigrated from India. When I was a little girl, I was molested by a cousin who was much, much older and I suppressed it for many, many years. I'm Rachel Cruz, and I'm Filipino-Canadian. I was sexually assaulted by a member of my community. I am Canadian born with Bajan descent. My experience was workplace abuse in corporate Canada. And I am Italian. I started to experience sexual abuse when I was six years old, and it followed me through my teenage years and adult life. My name is Melissa Helen Kimberly Hood and I am seventh generation Canadian born with native descent. And I have experienced 32 years of abuse. I'm no longer a victim, but a true survivor. Uh, yes, the documentary was very emotional, of course, okay. but uh, just to take you back a little bit, um, one of our um, writers uh, wrote a, 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 she interviewed five women across the GTA, from all from diverse backgrounds okay. that had some experience with Me Too, mm -hmm. and uh, when I read the articles, when I read the article on these five women, it took me right back to... 25 years ago mm -hmm. when I worked in the, the industry, shelter. in okay. the shelters mm -hmm. and with the women. Mm -hmm. And again, I felt an obligation to, given the platform that I now carry, which mm -hmm. is media and multimedia, mm -hmm. that I had to do something about it and start to take up back my advocacy work mm -hmm. and get back into it. So, you know, I saw and I thought, oh my God, this is a documentary. Yeah, This is, is I got to get deeper, I got to... Mm -hmm. Let these women tell their story, and basically, I'm not 
when I had that idea, I didn't think, oh, I'm going to change the world or whatever. It's just let the women start talking about, mm-hmm. I knew this is happening. It's happening in our schools. Mm-hmm. It's happening in our churches. It's happening it everywhere. everywhere. Even in, the ho- in your home, home it does. it's happening. So yes. I needed to... Just the thought came, start the conversation, Mm -hmm. you know, put, shed some light on this dark topic, this dark thing. And we Mm -hmm. know a lot of women are going through this. And so this was like a big opportunity to take up back my advocacy work. And again, um, taking, helping women or I don't like the word help because it sounds helpless, supporting Supporting women women. in in the next level of their life to get them to where they really need to get to. And mm-hmm. so I thought, here's my opportunity, um, yes. given the platform that mm-hmm. I have, the media platform, to get the media, the mainstream media, to take a look at our communities, our diverse communities, our marginalized communities, like that this Me Too experience is not just happening in the mainstream mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. women in the entertainment industries or white women in, in, in that Industry, it's happening in our communities, um, to our women in our in our homes. So I need the media and like the Canadian government or whoever is can change policies and, and change laws to, you know, start the conversation, start looking at some of these societal. Um, problems mm-hmm. These, because it's, it really doesn't just start it starts from we educating our, our young men or young women of what is acceptable and what is not so it, I really need to, it to get in, that's my goal with this documentary to get into the mainstream and into oh. the country so my, my goal is to take it all across Canada in the schools, in mm-hmm. the high schools in the colleges, in the universities the community groups um, and so that is my little part that I play in doing something, start the change. If change mm-hmm. starts with me, mm-hmm. then a lot, you need numbers, right? Yes. So that, that, is, that, is, that is my purpose. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, the Me Too movement, the, the, the so, sorry, documentary, we actually inspire a lot of women to actually come forward to share their own uh, lived experience in an abusive uh, relationship. Exactly. So someone has to study anyway, and which is what you've uh, exactly. come up with a very powerful initiative. Yeah. And it's actually going to help uh, women to come forward. Come because, forward. Yeah. Just start the, yeah. conversation start the conversation in a safe space. Yeah. You Let know, where there are other women that yeah. have gone through this and how they've healed. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And some women are still in the healing yes. process, but if all the women come together... Yes. You know, it is powerful. They know they're not alone, they're not they're alone. alone. and That's what yeah, I it's say. powerful. Yes. You know, I think maybe well, Andrew can explain. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think, I think our project really completes the way the issue went viral mm-hmm. on many levels. Yes. First of all, um, we're a diverse magazine. Yes. And we want to make sure that the article, even the first article that came out, mm-hmm. looked at a diverse cross section of women. Mm-hmm. And as Shelley quite rightly pointed out, all the women who are, have been f- featured, as you know, they seem to be all involved with sort of mainstream, very high-profile mm-hmm. male moguls, yeah. all these big men that have been toppled. Mm-hmm. And all that is good and all that is right and all that's legitimate and all of it should have come out long overdue. Mm-hmm. But as Shelley said, it only involved arts, entertainment, media, and politics, mm-hmm. all in the mainstream. Um, I like to think that most of the women in this documentary would have never been in, on the TV. They would have never made mainstream yeah. because they don't fit. Yeah. But what they do is they fit this little engine that could, SMJ yeah. Magazine. Yeah. They, we, we actually have all five major cultural backgrounds wow. represented mm-hmm. by these eight women. That's big, first of that all. Really that takes it to a diverse, that to take us to a diverse extreme. Yeah. Secondly, as Shelley quite rightly pointed out, it deals with all environments, not just arts, entertainment, mm-hmm. media, and politics. Oh, and so, yeah. Because it happens everywhere. everywhere. And thirdly, and most importantly, it's not just sexual harassment mm-hmm. and, and abuse. It's physical harassment yeah, and abuse violence. and emotional yes. harassment and yeah. abuse. And Tarana Burke, when she set up the Me Too Foundation, mm-hmm. she wanted to make sure 
it reached its diverse extremes. And a lot of questions now in 2019 are asking the question, where does Me Too go now? Exactly. I put to you that the reason why somebody upstairs gave us this project first mm-hmm. is this documentary. documentary has the answer. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is the answer. The wow. answer to Me Too is taking it to its diverse extremes yes. and including all people mm-hmm. because... You have to speak for marginalized. You have mm-hmm. to speak for the visible minorities yeah. because it happens everywhere. You say about women, different uh, demography. You have to be able to reach. Yeah, all and the and yeah. we actually, I yeah. actually feel that our project is as strong at the end as it is at the beginning. Yeah. Lots of times you have a great idea and you can start out strongly, mm-hmm. but it peters out at the end because yeah. you're not sure how to finish it. Yeah. But. Our project has been strong from start to finish, and it's because we have this very, very important message we have to get across, mm-hmm. that you have to take it to its diverse extremes. Yes. That's where Me Too goes now. Wow. Maybe you can explain a little bit about why we call it What About Us, and how powerful... Yeah, yeah What About Us is, yeah. is a question that all women who aren't in mainstream would ask. Why don't you include us? Um, but when we searched Google, we found out that a very famous American singer has got a song by the same name. So, so uh, even though the title isn't a problem, mm-hmm. if you want to copyright and all that kind of stuff, you could identify it. Mm-hmm. And so um, we have meetings in strange places. Let's put it, <laughs> let's put it this way, that Shell and House of Films, mm-hmm. who's an actual couple, by the way, Shell oh, and Anne... Okay. Um, we had a strange meeting and it wasn't in a boardroom if you get a picture Uh, and uh, the man turned to the woman and said wait a minute what would happen if we spelled what about us phonetically how would that sound well first of all you don't pronounce the H so take out the H and put an apostrophe and the word about yeah. You, you hear the middle part of the sound, That's it sounds like nice. a bow of a ship. Yeah. Bow. So take out the U and change it to a W, and now you got wow. what about us that sounds just like a way it was spelled, yeah. but now it's not spelled like anything else. Wow, that's smart. Yeah, that was really smart to And also, <laughs> also I, I think in terms of marketing, I think mm-hmm. it immediately people, what is that? What is that? Nobody knows really what that is when they see it. Yeah, it's striking. It's making very eye make, something. Yeah, so it, it makes people sort of think, I should find out more about this just because of the title. Yeah. Somebody spelled it wrong. Why yeah. did they spell it wrong? Yeah. Well, just to, just to uh, get the attention of you, right? The it's audience. right. Yeah. Hey, it's all about publicity yes. and marketing. Uh, marketing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and I was in marketing for 20 years, so here's my skills. There you are. <laughs> You're going to help me with the tips. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Andrew, for actually helping to uh, uh, tell us more about what about us. Yeah. Yeah, because I was wondering when I spelt it, I was I did my research. I said, wait a minute. Oh, is this, is, I don't know what happened. And my daughter said, no, mom, that's how... I said, because I spelled what about... He said, mom, no, it wasn't your fault. This is exactly how... Yeah. 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 So, it's very unique. Yeah. Um, I know, right? I said, oh, okay. Part so, of the publicity. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. awesome. Yes. So, um, and it's diverse. Yeah, if you look at it the way the, the writing, yeah, the font, about, it's kind of diverse. Yeah. It's not straight. And it's actually, it actually it's actually extension in the magazine because we could have called it just like the Oprah magazine. Yeah. We could have called it the Shelley magazine. Yeah. But we decided to use her initials. Yeah. SMG. Yeah. It's so, all branding. Yeah. All branding. Yeah. All branding. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So anyways, um, something people that are passionate just like you, that are visionaries, right. just like you, but they don't know how to uh, start. What advice do you have yeah. for them? What I would yeah. say is follow your passion, yes. follow your gifts and talents, mm-hmm. develop your, yourself, be around positive people, mm-hmm. you know, that would help to encourage you to take your, you and your business to the next level. And, you know, always put God first. If, if there's something you don't understand, you just pray about it, go to God, and He, the Holy Spirit will... Tell you what you should be doing, really. (laughs) There's two two biblical passages. Know thyself (laughs) and uh, align your, transform your mind. If you align your mind with your spirit, Mm -hmm. guess what? You'll always outvote your body two to one all the time. And that's the way it should be. Like 
And it's a learning. Yeah. It's a learning. We don't. I didn't always know what I know now, but I brought out the best stayed. in her, and mm -hmm. she completed me. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, Mr. Pasquiska, you are awesome. I, I in short, I enjoy speaking to Thank him you. today for the first time. Yeah. Oh my God, he's a wonderful man. You are awesome. He's Trust me. Yeah. He said you completed him. What more can anybody yeah. ask for? Yep. His strengths are my weakness, my weakness are his strengths. So that's why we're, we're together for purpose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because so we can do a lot together. together. Yes. And impart and transform lives. And transform lives, exactly. Yeah, we could do a lot more together than we can do sing, uh, singly. Yeah. yeah. We, don't, we don't add up the same way yeah. apart like we do together. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So um, if our audience, they are going to, they're planning to look for, how can they reach out to you? Oh, Is well, for our magazine, SMJ Magazine, www.smjmag.com, mm -hmm. and for our film company, Facebook, Shellen House of Films, um, we're on Instagram, um, Shellen House of Films on Instagram, Twitter, Shellen House of Films, and um, if you want to send us an email, shellenhouseoffilms at gmail.com, um, we're always looking for partners and collaborators, and yeah, just drop us a line and um, yeah. yeah. I'm on WhatsApp, and uh, <laughs> my email is atp 11 at gmail.com, which is how people get a hold of me for Seventh House Publishing Arts. Okay. So thank you, uh, Shelley thank and Mr. And thank you for thank coming. you so much thank for having us. us. Thank yeah, you. I really yeah. enjoyed this interview. Yes. And thank you, and I hope to see you guys next time. For sure. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for taking your time to watch this uh, interview. I will see you next time. I want you to remember, as I always say, you are not alone. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook, and I'll see you next time. I remain your regular host, Faith Adore. Bye-bye.